Hey, it's Cliff, and if you are looking for a capital loss video to make you cringe, then this is the video for you. I happen to get my claim codes back from Celsius Network, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact returns that I got and the loss that I took on all of my money that I had in Celsius. Now, one of the things I wanna state is if you are also waiting for your claim code, there's a ton of people out there who are dealing with the same issue. It's all over Reddit, it's all over X now. These claim codes are still coming out. They have two weeks to distribute these codes and I don't even think we're in the first week yet as of now. So I'm hoping this video based off of what I got back will let you know what you're gonna get back and we can all just cry about this together and never use a platform like this again. I wanna say I am very fortunate that I didn't take my entire ledger and wallets that I have and dump everything into Celsius like some people did. So I just wanna let people know that, yeah, my amount that I have in there is a little bit smaller compared to the 100K, 200K that we're seeing, but it still sucks to lose this amount of money. I'm just glad that it's finally over. We're getting at least some of this money back and we can move on with our lives. So let me go ahead and show you the numbers that I got in Excel of how much I actually lost. So here's my chart just to kind of explain the way my brain works in this. This is what Celsius gave me, the Celsius return, and this is what I had in app. I believe in my last video that I showed a picture of what was actually in the app, but I put it right here for you just to show you what I have. So you can see I had almost one ETH, I had 0.23 BTC, I had like around 3,600 in USDC, and then I had three, almost four Litecoin. Is Litecoin even a thing anymore? I haven't heard anything about Litecoin in so long. Are they still developing on that or did Lightning Network just completely ruin Litecoin? Anyway, I don't have any anymore now, so I guess it don't matter, but uh, just a question. Let me know down in the comments. So I calculated the prices based off of yesterday. So if Ethereum depreciated or appreciated a lot and the number's a little bit off, that's why, but it was based off of yesterday that I calculated this. So just taking all those prices and putting them into USD, this is what I had, which was around $17,500. That's what I had in Celsius, according to this. You can see, here were my coins, but depending on what time frame that you're looking at, it was a lot of money. I think at one point it was up to like 25,000, 30,000, something like that. Anyway, when I calculated it yesterday, it would have been worth 17.5 thousand. So what I actually got was these two numbers here. You are getting your claim back in Ethereum and Bitcoin. So, so this is what they gave me, these two numbers right here. So that equals about $6,000 is what I got in return. So my $17,500 quickly turned into six grand, which came out to me getting around 34% of what I had in there. So just to give you guys a rough idea, if you're wondering how much you're gonna get back, I got 34%. That's the numbers that I'm looking at. One thing I do wanna say is I haven't actually claimed this yet, so technically I don't even have this money back. They're using PayPal and Venmo. So if you don't have an account, you actually have to go into those platforms and do KYC. Now, in my situation, they told me that's gonna take a week just for them to verify your identity with your photo ID and all that stuff. So I haven't even got this money back yet. A lot of people, do have their claim codes and they're trying to put the claim codes into these different platforms and they're getting some kind of error and they're asking me hey cliff what's going on with the error well i haven't got to try my codes yet so i haven't experienced the error yet to kind of do any troubleshooting but if anyone's figured out how to solve that please paste that below in the comments because that's going to help out a lot of people but for me i haven't actually got the money back i can't put the claim code in because they haven't verified my kyc yet it's just another week that i have to wait just to get this money back and it's very frustrating for a platform like paypal and venmo i'm never going to use those again so i'm going to go in delete my account right after i transfer all this money out hopefully there's not more steps that create more problems and frustrate me even more we absolutely got robbed and if you haven't got yours back yet you're gonna get robbed just as well but again i'm just happy to be over and done with this my celsius account had a specific reason i wasn't uh I was lucky that I wasn't so foolish to take all my ledgers and wallets and put everything in this. The reason why I had Celsius was a kind of like a business experiment that I was doing that I thought I was a genius and I was making so much money. Just to kind of give you a brief overview, I've, I've said this before on my channel, but this was my plan for Celsius. And this, you guys can laugh at this, it's kind of funny looking back at it now. So 
I was living in a place where I didn't have to pay electricity. So my genius idea was that I was going to buy a bunch of GPUs, right? And I'm going to start mining Ethereum. This is before proof of stake on Ethereum. You could actually still mine it and make money at the time. So I probably invested about 13 grand in mining gear. So I had about three 3090s and a bunch of 5700s. I had the Bitcoin mining uh, motherboard and the PSU that would actually be able to power all this stuff. And I had a big thing going on with fans trying to like cool everything down and keep the temperatures right. I was nerding out on this. It was actually a lot of fun. I guess that's probably why I'm not as mad that I lost a lot of this money. So. I'm getting into this mining. I am tweaking the GPUs, trying to get every cent out of these GPUs that I can per hour while still not overclocking too much to make sure that I'm not going to overheat and burn out the GPUs early. I nerded out. I had a lot of fun with this. And so my master plan was you're going to mine the Ethereum right on these GPUs and then you're going to take that wallet that they're going into. You take take all the Ethereum out of it, the Bitcoin that I had in it and transfer it over to Celsius. So in a way, because I'm not paying electricity, it was like passive income into this wallet and then I would move it over to Celsius and then I was getting money on top of that that I was already making. I think uh, Celsius was paying weekly. It was like uh, every Sunday or Monday they were they would pay out and I would see this number grow every week. And I'm just looking at this like, cha-ching, I'm making so much money. This is awesome, right? It got to the point that I had made more than the 13 that I had spent. As you can see, even right now, just showing you the numbers, it, it, today's dollars, it's at 17.5 thousand. So from the 13 thousand that I spent, I was in hella profit, right? It was a good time. And I thought I was just genius with this thing until Ethereum moved to proof of stake, which meant you can't mine it anymore, right? You can't mine Ethereum and profitability of mining went way down, like so far down that it's really not even worth doing anymore unless you have some kind of like super ASIC rig that's gonna do really high computations for you. But my GPUs were not gonna do that and I didn't wanna invest any more money in it because there's a, there's just, it just wasn't something I'm into. I move a lot and I don't have to carry around all this gear with me, right? So yeah, Ethereum kind of killed it for me when they moved to proof of stake because I couldn't really use the gear to mine anymore. I was happy that I paid the gear off and more and made some money, but it was kind of a bummer at first, you know, I'm like, hey, I can't mine with this anymore. Oh, well, I still have Celsius and it's still generating this interest. Fast forward, Celsius locked our accounts and I actually have the video I was probably the first person on YouTube to report this. And I'm like, hey guys, Celsius is not working anymore. I'm I'm kind of happy that I can keep that historic video just to look back and see like, oh shit, this money's gone. I lost everything in this. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I still have the mining gear. Um, I honestly don't know what to do with it. If you guys have uh, mining gear, what what is what do you do with it? You sell it at this point now? Like GPUs are not as valuable as they once were. Even 3090s, I'm not gonna make that much money. So I'm just kind of like hanging on to a mining rig that I'm not really mining with right now. But um, had a lot of fun with it. That's what I can say. I'm glad it's over. Definitely not gonna use a centralized exchange like that again. But there is one more thing. We're supposed to be getting stock back from this mining company. And I did see something online that kind of made me laugh as well. So this is a tweet from Ionic Digital Community. And this is where they're talking about the stock that we're supposed to be getting back. And they say, am I able to trade, transfer, or sell my shares of Ionic Digital common stock once I receive them? Initially, no, due to security laws restrictions, you will not be able to trade, transfer, or sell your shares of Ionic Digital Common Stock until the trading restrictions on your shares are removed. Subject to any restrictions that may apply to you under applicable security laws, your shares of Ionic Digital Common Stock will be freely transferable once the registration statement becomes effective and the shares are listed on a national securities exchange, which we expect to be NASDAQ. Ionic Digital will notify you once trading restrictions on your shares have been removed. And you can see I posted down here, too long, didn't read. Once the stock is completely devalued, you will be able to sell. So yeah, they're going to give you these shares of stock back, but you can't even trade them. So what's the point? Who cares? Like, 
all the big companies and big holders are going to sell before you get it back and it's going to be completely worthless so who cares maybe you get a little bit of money back but oh well not a big deal right yeah it is the lawyers took all of our money we got robbed but anyway i can't uh keep being mad about this so let's just move on so they did repost a pretty cool tool here and it is the celsius transaction tracker it's a third party thing not sponsored by ionic digital it's just something somebody made so maybe it's not completely accurate but we know some of these wallets and somebody made a tool to kind of see the outflow of money in uh celsius wallets so i will paste that down below in the description because it's kind of cool to see um you can see they're sending money out 30 minutes ago, 35 minutes ago. You can see the all of the money going out. It'll show you these Celsius wallets and what they're holding. That's eh, just kind of cool if you're a nerd and you want to actually look and see all the money outflowing and hopefully going into your PayPal account, then you can check it out. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, I guess we'll just see what's going on with those stocks, right? see if we're actually going to get any money should be kind of interesting but um let me know what you think down in the comments as always thank you for watching